Thick gray smoke could be seen for miles billowing from the home on Tice Road. But fighting the flames of the intense blaze wasn't the only concern on this day. It's quite cold and we're really concerned. We're watching our guys for frostbite, trying to make sure that they all stay warm. Several neighboring fire departments responded to help. But with hydrants frozen, portable tanks were filled with water and delivered through a hose to the house fire. Firefighters never wavered as ice formed on their gear, but they told me the brutal weather conditions made this very challenging. I've been pulling the hose lines through all this uh, foot of snow back here, and it's all icy, and trying to uh, you know keep your gear uh, uh, in working order. Once we kind of went defensive on the fire, and the fire got away from us, um, and uh, the elements really start getting you because you're wet, you're inside the fire, and once your gear starts freezing and your hands start freezing, just trying to stay warm. We learned the woman who lives at the home, Amanda Iacona, escaped the fire and was taken to Akron General Medical Center for smoke inhalation. She says, you know, she was just shook it up. She said it happened so fast that, you know, it, uh, all of a sudden there was a smoke everywhere. Adam Iacona owns both homes on the property and is grateful no one was seriously hurt and for the firefighters who braved the bitter temps. A lot of memories in there, you know, they share a lot of personal stuff, pictures and whatnot, you know, but uh, thank God she got out and thank God my kids weren't in that house.